I can't do this, bro. Look at your fucking self right now. You look like a bitch. It's a lot of fucking people in there. Niggas drove from fucking Denver. Who the fuck cares if they came from Denver? How, how about I just do the old jokes? The shit they already know is funny. I can't do this new shit, bro. I'll do it. I'll go in there and say every fucking thing they don't want to hear. You want me to do it? You want to go? You can do it. I'm not going in there. I will do this shit. I will do this shit. Y'all give it up. My little bro, Casey. Y'all make some noise. Make some noise. Put Casey the ice down. give a fuck about nobody. Everybody in here got something wrong with them, all right? Nobody is better than the next one. With that being said, I didn't know that everybody else hate Asians. Because <laughs> I hate them motherfuckers. Nigga, I, I swear to God, my first taste of racism was from Asians. I was in like third grade. And I swear to God, I, my mom moved into a nice neighborhood. We moved to South Bend, Indiana. I don't know if y'all know where that is, but that's like Little Boston. They racist as fuck in South Bend, all right? So we moved to South Bend out of Gary, Indiana. I'm thinking I'm living a good life. We moving on up, right? I get outside. I'm like, I'm finna go meet me some friends. First people I meet is Asians. I'm like, oh, can I hang out with y'all? They said, no, you a nigga. I said, well, damn. <laughs> Nigga, I was like 10 years, eight years old dealing with racism from Asians. I was like, fuck Asians from then. So what I'm gonna say right now, I don't give a fuck about them Asians. Talking about stop the Asian hate signing bills. Fuck them Asians, nigga. Them niggas face so flat they can bite a wall. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. Them niggas mass slide off like a motherfucker. You just see Asians, they should be sliding off. Fuck that they can't drive shit. We know Asians can't drive, but them niggas' faces is flat as fuck, okay? Them niggas is bite a wall. Just... <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't give a fuck. There's a lot of stereotypes in this world, and I, I'm gonna I'm, I'm be real with y'all. I fuck with stereotypes. All the stereotypes about niggas, I fit them bitches. I love Watermelon, I love chicken, I love hot sauce. I don't know my daddy like that. I just, I promise, I'm just a nigga. I'm like the stereotypical nigga, that's me. And I, but I'm starting to understand why my dad wasn't around. Like that shit starting to kick in now. Like I was mad at him for so many years. Like my dad wasn't around. He didn't come to none of my football games. This nigga said he was gonna come to my birthday. This nigga didn't show up at all. Bro, my mom is a bitch. Like, oh my goodness, she is annoying as hell. I ran away three times by the time I was 18 years old. I was pissed. Like, I, if my dad had to deal with that, I understand it. That's all I'm saying. Y'all like, oh, you just called your mama a bitch. I just talked about ages. Ain't nobody unsafe in this bitch, all right? Nobody is safe. <laughs> I love my mama, though. She's such a sweet lady. I got to pay her for this phone bill, though, real soon. She going to be on my ass. She called me today like, I see you getting money. Make sure you pay that cell phone bill. <laughs> She's like, all right, ma, I got you. Yeah, I got Versace glasses, but I still owe my mama about $70 for that phone. And my shit gonna be cut off tomorrow. I'm like, Casey, where you at? I'm trying to pay this bill, nigga. So y'all paying my mama phone bill today. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, God. But now, um, other stereotypes that I like is that white people age like bananas. Um, yeah, they do. <laughs> I don't know if y'all heard that stereotype. She's laughing back there like, oh, yeah, y'all do. I swear to God, like after high school and college, y'all ain't shit in the face. Like, 
White people, y'all, makeup was made for white people that turn 22. Like after 22, y'all face ain't shit. Y'all just look old in the face. I'm just being honest. Y'all just talking up here like I'm not up here. Like y'all don't give a fuck about me. <laughs> fuck y'all niggas too. <laughs> These niggas having a full conversation up here just like, yeah, how was your last night? It was good, what you doing after this? I don't know. These niggas having full conversations. I know both of y'all since middle school. What the fuck is going on? Niggas. Back to white people though, I feel like I blame white people for a lot of shit. I'm sorry, I'm just be honest. Like, y'all invented this gay ass shit. Like, all this gay shit, y'all, y'all invented that. Like, jelly donuts, that's the gayest shit in the world. Like, I almost beat a nigga ass for giving me a jelly donut. Have you ever went into work and bit into a jelly donut on accident? You wanna shoot that whole motherfucker up? Like a white person, you're like, who the fuck just gave me the jelly donut? And what flavor is this, bullshit? God damn! I hate fucking jelly donuts. I think that's the gayest shit in the world. I don't like nothing that burst in my mouth. Don't give me no gushers. I don't like orange juice with a lot of poke. None of that shit. That shit is gay as fuck to me. I'm letting y'all know I'm a real nigga. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. I'm a real nigga. I don't do gay shit. Like for, like till I was 15, I didn't, clean the crack of my ass, cause I thought it was gay. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not washing that motherfucker. What I look like wiping this shit? That's gay than a motherfucker. At 15, I was like, you know, you gotta start cleaning that, bro. <laughs> you know, niggas gonna smell that when you go outside. Y'all think I'm bullshitting? I still don't put lotion on my ass. Today, I got fully dressed. I was like, I'm finna be fresh in the bitch, but I ain't putting lotion on my ass. If I pull my pants down right now, my whole body would be a lotion except for my ass cheeks. Cause that's gay to the motherfucker. Don't have me out here just, yeah. Y'all niggas be lotioning y'all asses, don't y'all? Y'all looking at me like, oh, yo, I lotion my ass. That nigga, that nigga just to be in the mirror like, yeah, boy, I'm finna fuck some bitches tonight. Show they gonna lick my ball sack, so I need to get my ass right. <laughs> I talk about everybody though, like the gay shit, like, honestly, we just need to bring back bullying. That's what's really make niggas get they act right. Because like, bullying a change your mind on some shit. Like back in, in middle school, we was in the neighborhood, we played football, and a nigga be like, yeah, we finna play tag, we finna play football. Niggas be like, all right, we finna tackle the shit out of them niggas. It be one nigga like, can we play two hand touch? We call that nigga a faggot for two weeks. That nigga straight as hell now. That's what I'm saying, we need to bring back bullying. Cause the nigga do some gay shit like, hey, get your faggot ass up out of here, nigga. You finna get tackled the fuck on this field, and you better get the fuck on somewhere and play with your sister, nigga. I'm just saying, bro. We need to bring back bullying. A nigga bullied me. Y'all know I used to be bald in a motherfucker. Everybody know I used to be bald in a bitch. I'm talking about no eyebrows, no hair right here, nothing. I'm talking about my, my nut hair was gone. I'm talking about everything gone, y'all. My aerodynamics was good than a motherfucker. I had alopecia. That's not Al Pacino, that's alopecia for the black people, okay? And I'ma let y'all know everybody talked about me. Niggas bullied the fuck out of me. Grant, niggas said I looked like a motherfucking bowling ball. Nigga said I look like Black Caillou. One nigga told me when I create my player on 2K, just skip all the hair options. I said, God damn. That was mean as fuck. Shit. But, but bullying helped me because I was like, fuck that. I'm gonna get some motherfucking hair. Y'all see me, I got my line up today like these bitches ain't gonna talk shit about me. But I'm saying that's why bullying helps people. Cause it pushes you to be a greater person. Like, y'all know who not good and bullied right now? These niggas out here with one arm. What the fuck is going on? I'm just seeing plethora of niggas with one arms out here doing shit. You seen this shit, that's why he looking up. That shit was on a highlight video. Niggas just out here like this with one arm, crossing niggas and dunking. I'm like, ain't nobody gonna hit this nigga, foul him or something? 
Hey, get your motherfucking one arm ass out of here, nigga. I'd foul the shit out of that one arm nigga for no reason. Like, you're not finna embarrass me with your one arm ass. The fuck out of here, nigga. The fuck I look like. Did you see the nigga that nigga was like? Like, how is he doing this with one arm? Like, how is this going down? He crossed the nigga, like a nigga fell, was like, oh shit. Like, how do you, I'm just saying, they should, they need to start bullying these one arm niggas, cause this shit, like, how you even hold the ball to get it up? How you do this, nigga? Like, you ain't, nigga, your hands gotta be big as fuck to do that shit, nigga. Fucking hate one arm niggas. I seen a nigga lifting weights with one arm. That shit threw me all the way off because I don't work out at all, but this nigga inspired me. I said if a one arm nigga can do it, I definitely got to do it. That nigga shit. I said, what the fuck? Did this nigga just do a... I don't even know what that's called. I need to ask one of my workout buddies what that was. A power clean, there we go. That was the power clean. A one arm power clean. One thing I noticed the other day when I was watching Snowfall, y'all watch Snowfall? Yeah, that's my shit. I noticed when I watched that show, I said, damn, if I was in this time period, I would have been a crackhead. Uh, cause them niggas was having fun. <laughs> Nigga, did you see when they went roller skating? That's all it would have took for me. A good song and roller skating, I would have been a crackhead. That's it. That is it. That's all you need for me to be a good crackhead. Like Square Biz, I don't know, y'all young than a bitch, but if I heard Square Biz and some crack was out at the roller skate, ro roller rink, I would have been skating off crack like a motherfucker. Just, I'm talking Square Biz to you, baby. Square Biz. Woo, that shit is good. Let's go skating, everybody. That's the first time I'm gonna go backwards. I don't know how to go backwards, but off crack, I'm gonna go backwards. It just be a lot of shit on my mind, y'all. Like, I just be wondering, like, what would happen if, like, we changed the word nigga in all songs to cracker? White people wouldn't listen to that shit as much. Oh, no, that's a rough riders roll. Crackers wanna try, crackers wanna lie, crackers wanna walk, crackers wanna die. White people be like, uh-uh, no, sir. I am not fucking with that DMX, Mr. Man. Crackers wanna die? No, we don't. Crackers, all oh, my motherfucking crackers. And I ain't going in unless I'm with my crackers, my crackers, my crackers. My crackers, my crackers, my motherfucking crackers. White people would not fuck with hip hop if we just switched that. Just that little change would make everything better. Cause I'm tired of white people coming up to me like, you hear the new little baby song? No bitch, I didn't. <laughs> the fuck out of my face. I feel like a preacher, I need to bring a towel up here like, go oh, ahead. Thank you, Jesus, thank you. Preach, preacher, somebody say preach, preacher, I'm preaching. In the Lord. I like old school preachers cause them niggas will make you feel like you into some shit. It don't even be nothing going on. Them niggas be like, mm-hmm. Like, oh shit, here we go. These new pastors, these niggas, these new pastors, they ain't shit. These niggas listen to the same music we listen to. Motherfucker pastor said, the Lord said, when you move, I move. I said, just like that? He said, the Lord said, when you move, I move. I said, just like that? He said, praise him. Is back. I said, no, that's ludicrous, nigga. You think you sprint. I'm gonna say some, put praise the Lord in the comment section for me. Put praise the Lord in the comment section. I'm like, no, nah, this nigga been listening to too much ludicrous. I'm not finna give him shit. They always say, like, when you talk about certain people, your kids gonna be like that. I don't understand that shit. Like, was this somebody that went around interviewing motherfuckers? with retarded kids, asking them if they talked about people when they was younger? Like, was it a motherfucker like, hey, my name is Todd Summers, and I have 
Jim here. I see your son looks like he's in mid sneeze in the face. Uh, can you tell me, did you talk about people while your wife was pregnant? <laughs> no, man, he just came out like that. The guy just looks like a little alien, you know? How you guys doing? My name is Todd Summers here. I have little Boleg Nielsen in this bitch. Uh, little Boleg Nielsen, um, did your dad talk about people when he was younger? No, my dad was a really nice guy. Okay. Hello, my name is Todd Summers. <laughs> We have Teresa here. Teresa, um, I see your daughter is a midget. Um, did you talk about midgets when you were um, regular size? I mean, before you had a kid? Like, did y'all know that, regular, that, that midgets can have regular size kids? Yes. Fucked me up the first time I seen that shit. I was like, what the fuck is going on in this bitch? This motherfucker got midget ingredients. This motherfucker had a fat ass head and little arms, but was my height. I was like, bitch, do you got midget ingredients in you? I'm like, midget must run in her family. <laughs> Last thing I want to tell y'all is that before I did this show, I really wanted to stop smoking weed because it's really hard for me, y'all. Like, I've been smoking weed so fucking long. Logan, you fucking know. Like, I've been smoking since, since fucking seventh grade. And my mom used to fucking be like, are you smoking? I'd be like, no, I'm not high. And I'd be high than a bitch. And, and sometimes I'd be trying to stop smoking, but it'd be like the day I stopped smoking, somebody called me like, hey bro, I got a whole pound. I'm trying to smoke this shit with somebody. I'd be like, Jesus, thank you. I didn't want to buy it, but if they gonna bring it, bring it. When the Lord says move, I move. Just like that. <laughs> Yes! Yes, Lord! But now the one thing I be thinking is like, I gotta stop thinking of dumb shit. Like when I go to sleep, I be having random ass dreams. Like I had a dream that Denzel Washington went to Steak and Shake and Ray Charles was at the window, but they got his order wrong. Right? Y'all with me? All right. It go just like this. All right, okay, hey, my nigga, my nigga, all right, okay, huh? I need that cheeseburger, but on that cheeseburger, I don't need no goddamn cheese on it, huh? <laughs> all right. Ray Charles get the burger, I mean, he get the order, he... All right, okay, you said you don't want no cheese on the cheeseburger, I got you, I'm making do what it do. You said you want the bacon and the lettuce on that? You know I want the bacon and the lettuce and all of that shit. All right, pull up to the next window. You know I got time to make it do what it do, baby, you know. He get to the next window, he see his shit, he, huh, huh, huh. You made this burger, huh? I told your blind raggedy ass, the next nigga that put cheese on this cheeseburger, it'll be the last cheeseburger you cheese. Ray Charles like, you know, I, I, I can't put, I can't see nothing. I just heard him, I told him don't put no cheese on the cheeseburger. You only want the bacon and the lettuce. You know I can hear good. I make it do what it do, baby. I told your blind ass I don't give a fuck. Cat Williams start instigating in the next seat over like, nigga, why the fuck did we come here anyway? They got these bitch ass french fries to give me a carpal tunnel. We didn't been in this line longer than I didn't been in college. Nigga, get me the fuck out of here. Now, instantly, instantly. E-40 in the back seat like, ooh, nigga, shoulda went to Burger King. They got 10 nuggets for 149. <laughs> My name is Casey the Icon. I love y'all. Love y'all self. Fuck that dog like this, not that rock that pink.